Hello friends, in this video, what is the scale widget and what are the you know methods and functions that can be used with the scale widget that we shall see. You know scale widget is a slider, it is a sort of a slider control. By the help of the sliders you know head, you can set the parameter of a particular value to a certain desired value. So, it provides a graphical slider which allows you to select the values from a specific range. Two important methods are associated with it, get it will return the current value of the slider. It has a certain initial value and the final value in between which the value can be selected by using the slider. What is the current value that can be obtained by get? And you can also programmatically set the value of the current state of the slider by saying set the slider's value, slider to a particular value. These are the two mo most important methods that are associated with scale. We have an example, I will demonstrate to you, show to you that the value can be changed by sliding the pointer from the minimum to maximum value and obtain the value and apply it to a certain parameter. Let's say for example, a font size, slide the slider and the change will be affected on the size of the font that I will demonstrate with, demonstrate to you, to you with the help of an example. Now, in this example, I will demonstrate to you how the scale widget is used. Scale is a slider control. By using the slider, a value, numeric value can be changed from the lower bound to the upper bound. So, the constructor of the scale widget takes Actually, it can take different parameters, but the essential parameter is the object of the top level window. In this case, it is root, root is the object of TK class. So, that is essential. You can specify the initial value of the slider and the final value of the slider by these two parameters from and to. The default orientation of this slider the scale object is vertical you can change it to horizontal if you want by using the parameter orient is equal to horizontal and in order to obtain the instantaneous value of the slider there is a parameter called as variable which is bound to a variable called var so i am declaring a variable var which is intended to store a double value Okay, so, this is how the scale widget is constructed. In addition to that, on the top of the top level window, there are two more widgets that I am using. One is a button and another is a label. Button object is intended to fetch the value of the slider as, as soon as it is clicked. So, the button is you know bound with the function called cell with command is equal to parameters. So, that means if I click the button, this function cell will be calculated. So, the, that is this is the definition of the cell function and it what is what it is doing? It is fetching the value of the position of the slider where dot get where you know that where is the control variable. So, the value of that variable is obtained and it is printed or it is displayed in the label. The label is created here. So, all in all there is a top level window in which there is a scale widget slider changing from 0 to 100. There is a button. If you click that this function is going to be called which will obtain the value of the present status of or present position of the slider and it will be displayed, the value will be displayed on the label. So, this is how the program is going to behave. So, as I run this top level window is created on which there is a scale widget, the slider, there is a button and this is a label. So, as I move this slider, 
you can see the value being changed. So, in order to fetch the instantaneous value at this point, if I just click on this get scale value, the cell function will be you know invoked, it will obtain the value of the slider and display it in the label. So, I will see value is equal to 43. Any time when I click on this, the value will be reported. So, that is how the scale slider works in the TK enter library.